Okay. So, which one do you think is better to wear? I think we're gonna keep the porn for the Sunscreen. Do you wanna try the AC sunstick? I have this other sunstick. <laughs> Hi guys, I just wanted to give some background so you could better understand what it was like at our Airbnb every day. So there were seven of us girls staying in one room, the other room had three huge beds. And every morning we would leave our door open so the boys in my family would just come in and we would all just be hanging out in our room. We were always giving each other outfit advice, hair advice, playing music, talking over each other. So filming in the morning was actually really difficult, which is why I didn't do it. And you could see like anytime I talk, like someone else is also talking. So. It's chaotic, but I hope that you enjoy it anyway. Also on this day, I had only gotten three hours of sleep the night before, so my eyelid was swollen. So if you see one eye looking bigger than the other one, that's why. You in the backyard of your We're gonna go today to a bunch of different museums. It, I tried like recording us getting ready together in the morning, but it was really chaotic. Me too. I think you'll like this more. I think so more. Do you like that one more? No? It's too sweet. Like, like candy melt Oh my god. I'm going to take out a piece of ice and eat it. <laughs> Thought that a trip to another country would take us out. It's the little animal. That was cute, but now I want coffee. This is green grape and that's that's something else, grapefruit, yeah. That one tastes like melted candy. I like that one. That's too sweet. I like the melted candy. It's kind of sour. I sour. Eat that one's sour. Like sour soda. I like the half Okay, logically birds wouldn't land on my head. Right? It's so cool. Long ice you to get from the party. Exactly. That's sweet. Did you try the grapefruit? Yeah. That I one's know. better. I like the green one better. I like the green one too. <laughs> you have bad taste. That one's like I slightly... I like the aftertaste of the grapefruit. Yeah. I hate that one. The birds are suspiciously close today. Pigeons. I know. Yeah. They Fun fact, we stumbled across a bookstore in this area while we were exploring and it ended up being Deo Bookstore which is the oldest bookstore in Seoul. It's like a bookstore and a cafe now and it's really famous also because Namjoon from BTS took photos there so I was really excited to go there. My cousin bought a little notepad from there and she gave it to me. We're going to Sulasu, a skincare store. But it's a long walk so we're taking multiple breaks on our way there. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <
Every time I like say, oh, this is what we're doing, we end up not doing that. They're becoming horizontal while walking down because it was so steep. Tomorrow we're going to hide inside. Our appointment is at 11 a.m. I'm so excited, but we don't really have a lot of things other than that plan. So we're going to also to find in the area or mm, just things that we could do. I took a nap for an hour from like 10:30 to 11:30. I'm not tired anymore. I've only been sleeping three to three and a half hours every night before waking up. And in my mind, I'm not just like adjusting to Korea, but I keep waking up for dumb reasons like yesterday i woke up i turned the light in our bedroom on and off in my sleepy brain i thought that i was like swiping my team money card <laughs> to exit and that made sense to me but then i immediately realized what i did was wrong because my cousin was standing right there looking at me like i was weird so then i turned it back off and i went to bed so yeah korea has been treating me well i think not tomorrow but the day after we're so probably gonna not be so crazy with things and take it a little bit slow. Every day so far, we've been work walking like 15 to 16,000 steps. I've been walking in Doc Martens for like 
half that time. It's a little bit crazy because even in New York subway system, I don't really understand it very well because I always go with my cousins whenever I'm in New York and they, I just follow them around. But I've been using Naver Map to do the Korea subway system and the public transportation system in general. And it's actually pretty easy and it's very similar to the few times I have traveled in New York City alone. And that kind of makes me feel better because it, things are already in place to help you move around and you just have to read them and then pay attention to signs and the signs are so easy to read because everything is in English or everything like the colors match between the app and the sign and the number and everything so it's so good it's like perfect mm -hmm.